the cruel heat of the African sun, the arid sands of a merciless desert that stretches across the continent. What better place for a fish farm? Inside these tanks, they're rearing sea bass and sea bream, all in natural salt water, discovered in a huge aquifer hundreds of meters under the sands of the Sahara. It's the bright or mad idea of Tony Fregi. I have a dear friend of mine who's a fisheries professor here, and I told him I want to raise fish in the desert. I said, you're crazy. Okay, Dr. Sharif, we don't take no for an answer. We give it a try, and there we are. We designed a, a, a large-scale intensive uh, fish farm. In fact, he told me, finding the water was the easy part. The problem was not really the water. The water is ample and available. Uh, our challenge was what to do with the water we don't need. So out along this pipe comes the dirty water from the bottom of the fish tanks. Then, with the latest method of drip irrigation, it is used to rear special plants tolerant of salt water. It is, says Tony Fregi, 500% environmentally friendly. As for the fish themselves, the feed is precisely calibrated. The water is cleaner than most seas in the world. The product is profitable and delicious. So here it is, one Mediterranean sea bass raised on the waters of the Sahara Desert and ready to be served on the dinner tables of Europe and Egypt. And they tell me this is as tasty a fish as you'll eat anywhere in the world. All this in what should be one of the most inhospitable places in the world for man, beast or fish. John Lyne, BBC News at the Wadi Natrun fish farm in the Egyptian desert.